Hi guys, it's Tracy from my grandma's teacups, and I just wanted to share with you a book um, that I just recently found. Um, the publisher sent me a copy to do a review on, and I was really interested in it, but it took a while for it to come, so while I was waiting for it to come, I was doing some research on Pinterest, and um, a lot of the things that I was already trying to fit into my health and wellness plan are actually part of this book which I kind of caught my interest <laughs> um, but you know like yoga and um, different different principles of how you eat and um, kind of the waking up early and all of those pieces um, so <laughs> I, I had asked my occupational therapist if she'd ever heard of this and I know I'm not saying it right but it, I think it's Ayur, Ayurveda I don't know. Anyway, um, I butchered the name, but I like the book. So um, <laughs> I asked her if she'd ever heard of it. And she said, oh, the, you know, the 6,000 year old practice that 70% of the world's population practices. And, and I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> but she said it, it, it's just now coming into, into North America. It's becoming more popular. But obviously in India and um, areas over in there. This has been their way of life for a really long time, but a lot of the principles in the book um, are very sound based on, you know, I've checked out with my doctors, with my psychiatrists, and um, they all think that this is, is a great, a great thing. And so I was really excited when I actually finally got the book um, because it's laid out so, so well. For me, I knew absolutely nothing about it except, you know, the few things that I found on Pinterest. But this it has lovely pictures too, which is nice. But um, it, it, it steps you through it almost like a child, introducing them how to walk. And she says to you, you know, don't go out and buy all these different things. Just gradually move one thing at a time into your life make that change make it make it a um a habit and then if you feel good and you want to keep going then change something else small so but she goes she goes through the um the different doshas there's three doshas and so the book she actually breaks it down into each one of the things that you should be doing for your own dosha and you she shows you how to figure out here it is actually the dosha quiz to kind of take you through and, and figure out exactly what you are. Then it shows you the different things that show that you're out of balance because the whole idea of it is finding your balance and the idea that different things that we put into our body will balance out our, our dosha so that we're not too much one way or another. So there's specific times of the day that are better for each one of us. Um, and so, um, it really goes into things that, that, that you can do to just improve the way that you feel. Um, and one of the things I take a lot of medications and so I often have like a brain fog. Um, so this actually goes through like what you can do just to, um, help alleviate that. Um, and there's things like just like bad breath and body odor, um, like how often you're getting sick, your whether you you have joint pain, um, whether you're there's mind feeling foggy, um, a lot to do with your tongue. Like your tongue seems to be a big indicator of how your health is. So she talks about in here about toxins and how they accumulate based on what we put into our body and also like what we don't put into our bodies and <clears throat> whether we're sleeping at the right times and whether we're getting up at the right times and even so much as to um what like you can do different things with um brushing your teeth and it talks about oil pulling in here um <laughs> it talks about looking in the toilet bowl i don't know if you remember oprah <laughs> and Dr. Oz said that a long time ago on the Oprah show. 
it was like before you flush, but that's in here too. Um, it talks about a lot about self-care, which is something that I'm really focusing on this year. Um, and she says like, they tell you to put on the mask in the airplane first for a reason. And the same principle goes, to, goes for life as well. Like you have to take care of yourself before you can take care of anyone else. Um, sorry. Um, she has recipes in here of different things, the different categories of food, uh, salty, pungent, bitter, astringent, and how, how to cook them. And, um, this is a 21 day introduction and it's really cool because the first week she has you just barely changing your schedule and just doing very simple things and then as you go along you just keep adding stuff in but they're not they're not anything that you're going to feel like oh my goodness I can't keep up with this she even gives you the self-care worksheets it is just it is a really really great book and I don't often say that I found a really great book but this one really is um she she put in several recipes so that you can cook the things for your particular dosha. Um, she talks about detox, um, hot, hot water with lemon um, to help your body to um, get rid of bacteria, dry brushing, yoga. She even gives you some of the basic yoga poses. Um, meditation. There's a really great app that you can get um, for meditation. It's called Headspace. It was one that um, I was recommended by one of my doctors, and it, I really like that one. It, it's a really good pace. You can choose what it is that you want to meditate. So I can put the link to the app. They have, I think, 10 sessions that you can do for free, and then after that you can, you have to subscribe, but you can continue on just doing the 10, and there's nothing wrong with that. So um, This also goes through changes that you should make seasonally in how you eat and how you dress, like different colors, um, medicinal herbs and remedies, stress and anxiety. So it is a really complete book that you could that you could just pick up this book and start and you don't have to do the whole thing it doesn't build on each other it's just you can start where, where you are um i started doing um i tried the oil pulling and i've been doing um the tongue scraping which is really really disgusting so i I would recommend everybody go out and get a tongue scraper because the thought of keeping all that bacteria in your mouth, your toothbrush just doesn't take it away. I, I experimented and I did my toothbrush on my tongue and I scrubbed it and scrubbed it and it was, I still, when I pulled my tongue scraper across it, it was still disgusting. So anybody that is interested in that, get a tongue scraper. They're like three bucks. So worth it. <laughs> um, if you have any questions about this, I'm, I'm not an expert by any means, but I can tell you about the book. Um, so it's Susan Weiss Bolin and it's available on Amazon. I think it's out now. Um, I'll have to check. If not, it's coming out soon and it's really worth purchasing. I think it's only like 13 or $14 and it is such a complete guide and it doesn't feel pushy at all. And she doesn't use a lot of technical um, jargon that you kind of get lost in. She talks to you, you know, there's baby steps and she explains everything really clearly to you. So um, I would really recommend that if you're interested in self-care this year and you're trying to kind of find something to pull everything together this book does a, just a beautiful job at it so it fits in really well with um, my fitness planner um, which I'm also using as my self-care my wellness planner um, so again if you have any questions or if you know a lot about this and you want to give us some tips on where to get more information then if you put something in the comments then I'll follow up with you on it um, and if you are an expert at this or you have done it for a long time and you want to do um, like a question and answer on my channel 
then that would be a lot of fun because like I said I don't know much about it I'm just starting but I'm really really interested in it and what the little things that I've started so far have made a huge difference so um, yeah so if anybody knows someone that is an expert that wants to come in and and, and talk um, we can do like a Google Hangout or something and we can have a discussion about this so again it, sh it should be on Amazon now um, and it's Susan Weiss Bolin and it's the beginner's guide and I don't want to butcher the name <laughs> so um, if you're not subscribed to my channel please do so do subscribe so just so we can stay in touch and um, yeah have a great day bye